Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for December 14th, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern. As, you know, we continue in this uh, transition that we're in, you can, if you choose, move into a place where you can communicate with many others. And this is by moving into the now and into stillness, and all you do is just be. That's like that's it. You don't have you don't do anything else. You just you get into a quiet area, no music, no none of that, and you just be. All right. Music's good, but uh, it, it, unless it's tuned to where you're at, it kind it can be distracting. All right. So it it is not, it's like you take the training wheels off. And you should be able to do it yourself. And you don't really need anything to assist you with that. It is probably you sure know that Siddhartha or Buddha uh, didn't use music to meditate. Um, and neither did uh, Jesus. He didn't use music to meditate. And most of the, uh, you'll see the a lot of the monks um, in the Himalayas, other parts of the planet, don't use music. They meditate. They make their own through their vibrational frequency. And you see, we are music. That's this meditation. We are music. This planet, Gaia, here Christa Earth, is music. Okay? Now, you all know about uh, uh, Emoto's uh, uh, water uh, uh, discovery playing different frequencies or music, uh, you saw how things were just vibrant and beautiful uh, with certain frequencies, certain music, and then other uh, frequencies of music uh, were very disturbing, almost to the point where the crystals, uh, water crystals, uh, kind of disintegrated. So if you can comprehend the understanding of that is that we are music and we can tune ourselves. It's kind of, it's, it's fun to do. And how you tune yourself is just that you, you move in to the, the happiness and the joy that you are and understand something. You're in the vortex. There's all of this stuff happening around you is just stuff, okay? And the more that you understand that, the more you will empower yourself and the more your confidence will skyrocket without ego, that you'll, you'll be able to uh, eventually. Maybe some can, you know, immediately, depending, you know, some people can just stumble into it. Uh, others try too hard. See, a lot of us will try too hard. We, 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 we expect a lot out of ourselves and we're really hard on ourselves. So we get frustrated very easily if we, you know, we feel that I'm not there, nothing's happening, I don't understand this, and it just, just doesn't work for me, okay? This is ego mind. And the ego mind, and I, I emphasize it a lot because it's very powerful, and once you're aware of that, it's not a, you know, it's not an anger, you just acknowledge the fact that, you know, the, the ego mind is a powerful thing. And since I have been so uh, in, ensconced in it, uh, it's like a habit, you know? It's like when we say, I don't want this, and you get it, say. You say, well, I don't care to have this. I don't really care to participate in that. I don't care uh, to, you know, whatever. It's always that, it's not, you see, if you say you don't want, you know, you're gonna get it. So it's just how the frequencies are emitted and how, how those frequencies are received by the universe. Now, your music, we all are music. So how, it's people, how do we tune, how do I tune myself? Well, you, you have to figure out a way for you, okay? Uh, as like I said, we all have different tones. Uh, it's because of the influences we've had when we entered these bodies and then the little, little you know, into the baby and then the influences, the external uh, input and the external influences and external authorities, how it kind of influenced us here. Uh, and so we have different tones and 
we look at things with different perspectives. Uh, somebody might look at something and say, uh, you know, that's very disturbing. And somebody else looks at it and say, eh, it's no big deal. You know? Other people say, why, why aren't you, how come you're not, uh, uh, you don't seem emotional or concerned about this? And, and the other person will say, it's not a big deal. Well, it is to me. Have you ever had that conversation? It is to me. It is important to me. It is impactful to me. So we're, we're different that way. And it's only because of the influence that these bodies have experienced while our gods have been in them and our disconnection from who and what we are. So we come full circle. We connect with the God within. And then we figure out, well, you know, my harmony, my music is... It's too low, you know. I, I, I want it. I want it. I desire it to go up. So I know how to do that. I move myself by being uh, into stillness, into the now, and letting go and surrendering to all of the attachments and things that make us feel ucky. You know, when you feel ucky, uh, you know, you're kind of. And, and it, it, it's like when there, it seems like there's so many things. And, you, and, it, and it overcrowds you. And then you become anxious and nervous. You say, I wonder why I'm feeling this way. Because seriously, the more things that you covet or attach to, I should say attach to, uh, the, the, the more uh, dispelled uh, your thought process becomes. Uh, because the ego mind goes on over time and it just starts hammering you. You know, what if this happened with that? And what about this? And what about that? You know, and then this and that. And all these thoughts start coming in and you start embracing these thoughts. And then next thing you know, your frequency drops, your music drops, and then you attract more. You know, it's like you have a window and you have a screen and it's the middle of summer and there's bugs everywhere. As long as you keep that screen up, the bugs can't get in because, you, you know, bite you and it cause itching and irritation and stuff. But when you take that screen off and those, you allow those bugs to come in, those are thoughts. Those bugs are thoughts. Now, you can look at them through the screen and say, I, I'm not interested in, in embracing or having any of those come into my reality for me to embrace it and come into my reality. This is all connected to your music. Okay? So, and, and see, some people are, are compelled to open that screen let those bugs in. Those bugs are thoughts, and they're just thoughts, right? So as long as you understand that, then the mind, the ego mind, uh, begins to understand it by saying, hmm, they're not taking these thoughts at all. They're not bringing them in anymore. They're not creating them into realities. I ought to send more and heavier thoughts, and that's what happens. And then, and then there's more bugs on the outside of that screen. So, and then, and here is, here's a, 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 an analogy, a, a visual in your picture puzzle in your, in your heart mind. You open that screen, right? And all of these bugs, which are all thoughts, come flocking in. You ever been swarmed by just gnats or mosquitoes and how irritating they are? because you're, you're attending them and you're interacting with them, see? That's what these thoughts are for us. They're just, a, just an incessant, constant. And so that's why I say with your music, if you feel that your music is uh, low-key, draggy, uh, heavy, uh, irritable, stressy, uh, friction, uh, it could be you know, slight, or it could be more. It just varies in different degrees on where your music's at. Now, you're the piano tuner. You're, you're the master who comes in and tunes your frequency. And you tune it by elevating how you are. Where's your love? Where's your joy? Where's your happiness? Where's your bliss? Where is your deep, deep, deep gratitude? and deep, deep, deep eternal love. This, it, it's conscious. We all know it. We all know it. Now, everybody on this meditation knows that. So, we bring our music into harmony and 
balance with the vibrational frequency that the God within us is, okay? And it's amazing because everything just melts away. All of these stresses and fears that we carry, because we all carry them. We all entertain them at one time, way, shape, form, or another. And it is, it, it's the more we become aware, knowledgeable of this, then the more empowered we are to tend to it, you see? It's real easy. You know, with that note, and going to cut it with me, uh, so I'm not interested in that note's a thought. Okay? In those bugs, I will pick and choose which bug I allow in. This one looks interesting. You know, I think I'll embrace that one. That one can help me with this, this, and this. See? It's like you're shopping, right? And you want the most perfect harmony music you can obtain with yourself. Okay? I know some of you may hum a song that you may have picked up through the years, and it, and it gives you, a, a, you know, a, 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 a well, a good vibrational push-up. And so you just might start singing it, humming it. All right, humming is a real good frequency. Uh, in mantras, uh, a lot of the uh, brahmas or pundits will the, 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 the mantras are kind of a hum, and they're a frequency, and they vibrate. And that creates a almost a zero point energy vibrational frequency, which can literally change everything. Uh, I know because I've seen it and felt it. Uh, so you you begin to master, and I, you know I talk about master and commander of your light ship. That's what we all are, and we're all gods. And this planet is music. See, Gaia is music, and you know what? When you hear an off note or really, and some of us are disturbed by some of the musical frequencies, it irritates us. You've been sitting there and someone is just, you know, jamming away and you hear the music and you go, I can't stand that. You, I, I, I got to get away from that, you know, or I'm sure you've come, some people say, Can you, excuse me, could you not play that so loud? Okay. And what is that? Why is that? It, it is because it is not of the vibrational frequency that gives us the ease that we are, see, or connects us with source creation. It's just disturbing, and it's kind of, it causes ripples in our harmony, in our vibrational frequency. So we just, you know, put earplugs in or we just leave it or we move out of the way. A lot of noise. You've been in a public place, maybe a restaurant or somewhere, and you just like to have just the quiet, just to be, not read anything, not be on your phone, but just sit and be. And it's quiet. And you're quiet. And you become calm. And you, you say, well, and, and these thoughts just kind of sit there and, and gravitate because you're not entertaining them and you're just being. It's quite rejuvenating. It, it sets you in such a wonderful frequency and it allows you to experience more of the God that you are. And it's free. And you know what? We all can do it. There's nobody's exception. Well, you know, some people are, they're just not there. So that's fine. That's their direction. And so those that are, will. Those that aren't, won't. And we are, and, and, and we don't judge or, you know, uh, comment. It's, 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 it's of no interest for us. Because remember, it's all about you. People go, wow, well, that's, that's kind of being really egotistical and self-centered. No, it's not, because it all starts with us. So as we harmonize ourselves, do you imagine the energy and the frequency that you affect others with? You ever notice that when you walk into a situation or you're around some uh, uh, friction from you know, people, not you, but you're around it and you're noticing, you know, someone arguing with someone at a table or something like that, isn't it? It's it's a little disturbing, isn't it? And and a lot.
lot of us try to ignore it, but the, the frequency, we don't even need to look. We, we know, we sense it. It's going on. And you know, it's, it, it's discomforting for us. And most of us just kind of, you know, ignore it. Well, I'm not going to, you know, that's, I, I'm not interested. And then a little fear comes in, you know. So, uh, you know, I've gone up to situations where I've seen, you know, a, a guy slamming a gal on the arm and she's crying. And I've just, after a couple of hits, I, I, I'm compelled to walk up there very politely and say, is there anything I can do to assist here? That's it. I don't say, what's wrong, what's going on? I say, is there anything I can do to assist here? And, uh, of course, there's people who fear, is this none of your business or anything? But it's the frequency, say. We are built by source, created by source, to harmonize. We are uh, music tuners for ourselves. Once we get into the music tuning of the music that we are, uh, and we're able to have, we assist Gaia, Earth, in tuning her music and you know what her music is i'm sure a lot of you have heard it okay it is the trees and the wind through them it is the rain as it pelts down on the roof and on the land and the soil it is the sun that shimmers off of her waters it's the breeze that you inhale the oxygen on a warm summer's afternoon. It is all of the life that we interact with. Our animals, our pets, birds, insects. That's her music. It's, that's the harmony. That's why we talk a lot about being part of her. And that, in the earthing, it's basically reconnecting with her. Miraculous things, I'm sure a lot of you have read and, and, uh, and talked to people who have literally healed themselves by, you know, connecting with her, with the mother. And how different, uh, the difference it makes with them. And it's not a placebo. It's not some imagination. You feel it. You don't expect anything. The music is everywhere. And it's up to us to pick the frequency and create the frequency that we are within, see? Not necessarily do we vibrate the frequency in these biological bodies because of the ego mind, subconscious mind, and the things that we have picked up and, and gained and, and experienced through this, these lives. But it is where you understand you. You understand you. And you can say, you say to yourself, you could be walking somewhere, you could be sitting somewhere, you could be reading, period, whatever. You say, you know, I'm going to increase my frequency. I'm going to do that by increasing the love I have for myself and the deep gratitude I have to be the God within and to thank. And, you know, every single morning and night before I sleep, I go through a process and I, 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 and, and one of them is, is that I go through all of those who are my family. And I say to Source Creation, I say, I love you. I do it with my heart and mind. And then from Source Creation, I go to the other creations from Source. Prime Source Creator God. Mother, Father God, the, the feminine and masculine representation. And I say, I love each of them. And then I go through and I'll, I'll say to uh, Yahweh and Yeshua, uh, I love each of them. And I will go to uh, the God within me, my body. I will say, body, I love you. And then I will, I will say, I love myself. So I, I, I say my name and I say, I love you. And then I say, it's in the morning, I go, thank you, thank you, thank you for this day. It's a practice, and it's a tuning of my music, you see? If you picked up an instrument that you played a long time ago, but you hadn't practiced for a long time, what do you think is going to happen? It's out of tune, and you're very rusty on the fluidity of the music that you once commanded. It's no different. So... 
as we tune our music to where we desire it to be. As we do that, we help Gaia as she rests to harmonize her music. So the more of us that are harmonizing and balancing our music, and as she rests, it gives her the opportunity to balance and harmonize her music. And we all, we, we are all one, and we are all love, and we all work together. It's not really work, it's play, because we enjoy it so much. Can you see, think of a better thing to do than to focus on you? This is after you've forgiven yourself. This is after you have finally released through the heart mind all of the things that you keep with you that you no longer need to keep with you that are past, say, self-esteem attitude towards you, how you appear, what you look like to you, how you treat yourself. Are you kind? Are you soft? Are you delicate with yourself? Are you gentle with yourself? Okay? It's, a big, it's a big, big difference. And that's all music. Okay? And when you have bad music and your frequency is flying all over the place and you're angry and you're stressing and you're fearing and you're rushed and you're hurried, you know that. You know what? That's 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 really disturbing music. Like when you come up against a music that someone is, is entertaining themselves with, or, and it just really, really vibrates wrong with you, and you got to get out of there. See, because it starts to make you angry and stressed and so on and so forth. So, Gaia is the music. We are the music. Now it's up to us, each and every one of us, and her, because she's doing it, but we're giving her the opportunity to rest. And if we give her the opportunity to rest, we continue to increase our vibrational frequency, which is our music, and magic happens. You imagine her music, her frequency, very high, which is happen, will happen and is happening, our frequency very high and we're consciously connected to all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. That's phenomenal. That's spectacular. And each of us have that knowledge to engage. So if you will, go to the place where you are not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure you all are. And the first thing we want to do is relax our bodies. Remember, you are the master and commander of your light ship. And you're learning how to love you. And this is a high frequency, which is a beautiful music that you create. And it affects all those around you. And it affects you first. And then it, it literally expands out. So as you relax the body and you let go, some things are not easy to let go of because we hug them. We hug them. We embrace them. We're not, and even though they're not pleasant music, we, we, we it's like you, we, we find it hard to let go of them. We're so attached to the discomfort and the low harmonistic music it's like we're, it's almost like a security blanket. We hold on to our pain and our fears and our stresses that we've accumulated. If you surrender to yourself, to the God within, and you let them go, it's amazing. You can do it as often as you like during the course of the day if it bubbles back. So you, you relax that, the body that you're in from head to toe, inside and out. You let it all go. And this allows you, you start tuning the music that you are. And it will increase as soon as you do this to relax the body. As you relax the body, what do we do? We move into the now. And the now is everything. In the now, we're creating our future. Eventually, you will become so finite, so detailed in your architecture of your future that you'll be able to jump into it and see how it is. And then you'll be able to jump back into the now and stay there and see if you want to fine tune any more about your future. And then on top of it, 
you'll have the confidence without the ego that you will know my future is absolutely spectacular. Not like you want to know, you know. That's what I'm saying. Not like you have to go to somebody and ask them about your future. You know. You talk about empowering. You talk about absolutely astronomical and beautiful music for yourself. That's why you're in the now. That's why every external authority is trying to keep you out of the now. Keep you in the past so you drag the past into the future, create your future. Okay? Disharmony. Infrequency. Low music. Disturbing. So, in the now, we still the ego mind. The screen holding the bugs from coming in. Okay? That's stilling the ego mind, subconscious mind. So you just be. The body's relaxing. You're in the now. You have confidence without ego. You can feel goosebumps. You get goosebumps over your entire body. It means that the God within you is smiling. But if you get just goosebumps, you know, a little, one part of your body and another part of your body, it means that there's disruption. It's not a fluid wave. So there's some tuning. As the musician that you are for your own music, there's the tuning that you need to uh, engage with. And that's good because you have the knowledge and the consciousness to do that. Say, you're not ignorant, in, in which ignorance is evil, and knowledge is power. So you have that. And as we relax the body, move into the now and still the ego mind and the subconscious mind, we want to breathe, which also reinforces us. And our breath for the body is super important and powerful. So as we breath in through the nose, we hold it three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then we exhale it, breath out through the mouth. And we want to do it as we breathe in through the nose, comfortable, wonderful. In, three second hold, exhale, breath out, nice and easy, a breath out, and you will find yourself relaxed. Proven fact, our breathing can really assist us with many things. High blood pressure, proven fact, and lower at several points. Specific way of breathing and relaxing, All right? And many other anomalies in our bodies can be eased or eliminated through the proper form of breathing. And unfortunately, most of us shallow breathe because we take our breathing for such granted and we're not focused on who and what we are. We're focused on all the externals. Um, it's not, not a good thing. So, as we are in the now, everybody who's new to this meditation in this now, in this circle of light, we hold our breath to focus ourselves on the now. Because the breath is in the now. It is the now. So whenever we feel off kilter or distracted, put off track, we have the knowledge to know I'm not in the now. So I'm going to move myself back into the now. So I'm going to breathe. And you can do it anywhere. No one's going to notice. You know, you're not sitting there gasping and exhaling, making all kinds of noise. Doing it very carefully, very comfortably. And then you... Literally, as the musician, you tune your frequency or your music and it continues to elevate and go higher. So picture that and feel that through the heart-mind because this is what we're all doing. We're harmonizing our music, our frequency through this whole process. Okay. So now we have a lot we're with the heart-mind. We are with the kingdom of God within us. So, all one, all love, the drop of the golden ocean holds the essence of the entire ocean. And we are the drops of the golden ocean. We hold the essence of all, there is, all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. The archangels, cherubim, seraphim, archetypes, all of the angels, these are wonderful beings. They have been with us from the beginning. As I say, they, they will appear in physical form at 
certain times in your life. They meet them unsuspectingly, but when you're focused and you're conscious and your music is high, you will, you will understand why they're there and why they communicated with you. And it's all good because it's always good and it's always uplifting. It depends on the mood of our music that we're in, on how we interact with it. And they are, they are of deep, deep, deep eternal love from deep, 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 deep eternal love. And they're non-judging and non-ego and stillness of mind. And they are blissful and joyful and playful and childlike. Tranquil and benevolent. And they're with us. Trillions of them. All the time. They're never not with us. And it's the same with the Ascended Masters. They have moved, they have ascended out of body in God form. See? Our gods are in the body. But you can't be quite, that's the difference. They're no higher. We're no higher. We're all one, so we're all part of each other. And all of them, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, who is now resting, St. Germain, Sananda Jesus, El Moria, Abidantia, Thoth, Hell, and many, many, many more. And their frequencies are so high. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. This is all blissful. The, the reason these meditations continue to spread because when those who engage with them on their own volition and their own decision and their own thinking for themselves and their own leading themselves and governing themselves, they are regenerated, rejuvenated, expressed of a higher music, of a much more blissful presence. And they don't expect to get anything out of it. They're involved with it to, un to undo, to assist with the harmonization of this planet and all life. We are here to serve ourselves and each other. And so, we are in always deep, the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And all of them are. See, this is not intermittent. This is part of the tuning of our music to be in constant perpetual of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And that's why our gods commingle because guess what? We're all one anyway. How can we not? How can we not commingle and, and be part of the angelic civilization? How can we? How can we not? With ascended masters, with all of the light energy beings and all that there is ever has been ever will be ever beyond and forever and we're all in this golden ocean and we're all drops that contain the essence of all that there is ever has been ever will be ever beyond and forever so we're all one that's that and that's why we're our gods are with each other you feel that through the heart mind you feel that warmth that vibration, that hugging, that embrace. It is absolutely phenomenal. And so they come in, and they are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we're of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one, we are all love, and our God light energy, where is it? Everywhere. The feeling of that. The experience of such sweet, beautiful music that we are. And understand that as we as we merge, as we as we all come in, because th we are them and they are us. So as, as they come in in the Google Plexus and fill the universes, and we all form here with Gaia as she rests, and we're here to uplift her by uplifting 
ourselves, so shall she. As she rests, it's even more accelerated. We carry her, all of us, in our heart minds. We nurture her, we support her, and we love her. As she has proven endlessly and tirelessly how much she loves us. We call on all other parts of us, inner earth, agartha, hollow earth, beneath earth, all of those civilizations. And the ones that join us, those are the ones that are of the highest, deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love from the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. Because their music is a beautiful, sweet harmony. Their frequencies are up with ours, and ours are up with them. They are of full compassion, non-judgment, blissful, tranquility, benevolence, non-ego, stillness of the mind, peace, contentment, generous and humble, And they all come in and join us in the billions. We're all together, arm in arm, hand in hand. In this circle of light, in this meditation, in this now. We're all one, we're all love, and our God light energy is everywhere. Understand, all of this is encasing Earth, Gaia, Terra Krista, all of us. See? And so she's able to heal and to expand and she can rest and she breathes without interruption without harm and we stasis her and so we encase the planet in our magnificent music of the emerald green flaming healing light it is music it is frequency it is the healer of the violet blue purple flaming light. It is the strength. The white fire, the armor. The purple transmuting flame, transmuting all discontent and low harmonistic music. And the violet ray, the cleansing, purifying and exponentially raising the music, the frequency. The golden white pink light of source creation, mother, father, God, the masculine and the feminine, prime source creator, God, our family, all from source creation. And we're all of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one, and we are all love, and our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We, we call out to all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime, and all lifetimes we've inhabited. And their frequency, their music, as gods out of the body, are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love, and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. Even those who are wandering and seem to be lonely and lost, we call out to them. We saturate them in the love that we are. We embrace them then their frequency begins to harmonize as well. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, bliss, peace, joy, tranquility, but 
benevolence, kindness, generosity, and humbleness. And they're with us, arm in arm, hand in hand. And they too are embraced and literally encased in these spheres of wonderful, beautiful music frequencies. And all protected. All of high frequency. Low frequencies cannot exist in a high frequency, deep, eternal love, deep, deep, deep gratitude. They cannot. We're always protected. The off-worlders, Pleiadians, Andromedans, Arcturians, Syrians, we're all one. They're part of us, we're part of them. It does not make any difference how their shells appear. They've been assisting us from the beginning in our evolution, in our enlightenment, in our ascension, and freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. There are billions of them. And the, the ones that come in and are joining us right now are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. Non-judgment, peace, full compassion, non-ego, stillness of mind, bliss, joy, tranquility, benevolence, all music, all frequency, all knowledge of who and what we are. You feel the surge of purifying God love energy. That's our music. That's the kingdom of God within each and every one of us, every single second and beyond. We're all one. We're all love. They're all in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. We're all in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. We're all one. We're all love. And our Godlight energy is absolutely everywhere. We, are, we call out to all of the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in this now, in this meditation, in this circle of light, in trillions and trillions of forms on and above and below this planet Earth, Gaia, as she rests and as we literally lift her. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire. The dolphin, the mermaid, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, and many, many, many more. And they come in all forms, shapes, sizes, configurations, colors of which we've never seen. And they are of the highest of the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. And, and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, stillness of the mind, of the ego mind. Kind, humble, generous. They're assisting Gaia, and their music continues to elevate all of ours as one, healing our mother, this planet Earth. And we are all, all of us, drops in this golden ocean containing the essence of the entire ocean. And we are all of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our God
godlike energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. It is changing the frequency of existence. We were created by source out of pure, eternal love. That's our music. That's what we're tuning. That's what we're assisting our mother, the planet Earth, Gaia, in resting and gaining and regaining her music and her harmony and her balance, then this will be, this planet will become the super planet and it will become the God planet. And it will be the paradise and it will be heaven on earth. And we and this planet and all of us are the music that will make it so. And as we interact with all of our brothers and sisters who have not yet begun to tune their music, we love them all. We assist them all. We embrace them all. And all life that relies on the mother I'll join you in the meditation and I'll return to close this out.
of the day into the evening and night following morning. Become the music of the God that you are. And I believe that we all know that we can do that effortlessly. And our mother, this planet Earth, Gaia, is getting happier and happier every second till it, that we collectively, over 30 million of us, are embracing her and assisting as she rests so her vibrational frequency can continue to elevate as ours does. We are all one, we are all love, and our God light energy is everywhere. And we are all in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. And we are all of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love, from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our music continues to saturate with deep eternal love as we are source. And we are creation. We'll be back here. December 15th, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern. I will be having a short call, about an hour maybe. Um, most likely Monday. And all it's going to be is it's going to be everybody talking about what they have been experiencing with liquid gold and what they have been experiencing with anything that we all are administering on a higher frequency with ourselves to improve the well-being and the music frequency of these bodies, which we love dearly. That'll be uh, roughly Monday at 9 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time on this.